Hi everyone, this is Chris Hodgson from syrupsyrup.co.uk welcoming you to this After Effects video tutorial brought to you by motiondesignlove.com I hope you're all doing well and thank you for joining me today uh, This is the first video tutorial that I have ever made so I hope you enjoy it and I hope that you find it useful I'll be giving my contact details towards the end so please get in touch with me um, and give me your feedback on the video as I hope to produce more like this in the future and I would really like to hear uh, what your opinions are. Um, so without any further ado let's have a look at what we're going to be making today. Now your video might not have um, uh, music to it like what mine does unless you own a MIDI keyboard like I do uh, in which case knock yourself out and make yourself a, a cool soundtrack to your, to your effect like what I've done. Um, thanks in advance to Matt for lending me his logo to make this tutorial by the way. Um, I hope he doesn't mind too much. I mean I think I would be quite annoyed if I saw my company's logo get destroyed in, a, in someone else's video but it's quite the opposite Matt, it's, it's coming together, I'm, I'm making your logo so hopefully you shouldn't be too angry with me but I guess we'll, we'll see on that one. I have to admit that the, the information for this tutorial has come from a second source. If you're really into After Effects or you'd like to learn more about After Effects and what its capabilities are, I strongly recommend checking out this website maxafter.com. Um, it's hosted by Shweeb Khan. It's just a fantastic website for for watching some great tutorials um, by um, Shweeb Khan um, that that cover quite a lot of um, really interesting, cool things that After Effects can do. And that's exactly what I did. I watched this um, tutorial here, number twenty-one, the card dance effect, and this is where I learned what the card dance effect was and what it could do. And what I hope my tutorial does is it, let, it makes you think about how you could use this effect in your own compositions in the future. Uh, just like how watching this tutorial myself uh, motivated me to make this tutorial for you today. So um, now that we've, um, well, now that we've uh, watched this, let's go ahead and show you how to make it. If you hit the new composition button and make yourself a composition which is 640 by 480 pixels, uh, 25 frames per second and 10 seconds long, hit OK. And into this composition we're going to add a solid layer. Uh, hit the make comp size button if you've got some random numbers that have uh, come up instead of 640 by 480 and the colour that we want will make it a jet white and just hit OK. And the first effect that we're going to use is the fractal noise. Just do a search for that. It should just come up in your list and just drag it onto the layer. And you'll see it uh, come up straight away. Uh, we're just gonna decrease the brightness of this by minus 20, uh, just to increase the, the darkness in, in the image, just to get some blacks coming through. And in the transform dropdown, if you go to the scale and choose, just change that to 20. It's almost like we've zoomed out from this uh, noise landscape now and we've got a lot more variation in, 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 uh, in smaller, tighter areas now of the whites and blacks. And it's these values that are going to affect the card dance effect of, the, uh, of that logo later on. So let's just uh, name this layer just for simpli simplicity's sake. We'll call it noise. And we're going to add another layer, another solid layer. Just hit OK. And the effect that we want this time is ramp. Just drag that onto the layer. And the type of ramp that we want is radial ramp. And just switch the start colour and end colour over so that the start colour is white and the end colour is black. And using these crosshair buttons here, we can manually select where like the manual select the coordinates for the start color and end color on the frame and where we want the start color to be is central and the end color just somewhere on the edge of the frame like that okay that looks great so we'll just 
rename this as well. We'll just call this ramp. And if you now hit the uh, the toggle switches mode button here, and we want to change the blending mode of the ramp layer to uh, multiply, we'll go for multiply. There we go. So it's just basically um, the opacity has been dropped to zero for, for the areas of that ramp that were black and we're just seeing the, um, the white area in the central area here. So we've got this, uh, this kind of uh, this sphere almost of, of, um, of noise. So that's great. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to make a, another new composition in our project. 640 by 480 again. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag the first composition that we just made with the noise into the new composition like that. And we'll just uh, rename this layer noise. So, right, so we're set up and now we're ready to bring our logo in. So I'm going to load up Photoshop here. And this is Matt's logo that I've just taken from his site. And I don't want the background, I just want the logo itself. And thankfully, Matt's Motion Design Love logo is blue, so it was quite easy to, to uh, cut it out. And the way I did that was just to use the um, color range uh, filter built into Photoshop. And then you can just select the, select the blue with the eyedropper tool and then just, uh, uh, just move this fuzziness uh, counter here until you basically got all the blue selected. And then obviously you've got um, additional selection tools just to kind of fine tune everything. So once I got it all selected properly, it looked like that. And then I just kind of just made these all individual layers. And then what I did was I made a, another new composition in Photoshop. It's called MDL, and this is 640 by 480, the same size as our composition in After Effects, and it's just got the logo in the center there. And I've just saved that as a Photoshop composition, MDL, which is going to be dragged from my little folder here into After Effects, like this. So there it is, and I'm going to drag this into my composition here, like that. So there it is, there's my logo. And what I also want to do, obviously um, we won't be seeing the noise, we'll be seeing the black, but obviously it's not black, it's uh, it's kind of like a, a ramp itself um, that, that Matt's got for his logo here. So we're just going to recreate that. Going to create a new, uh, a new solid, oh, crikey, sorry, a new solid layer, 6 by 480. Just going to apply, uh, just bring it underneath, apply the ramp to that. Now the start colour for this, um, you can assume that that's white, but on the end there, that's kind of a grey, so I'm just going to find out what that is with the eyedropper tool. So it's D8, D8, D8 pretty much. So 0, 0 to start with, and, oh sorry, start colour white, end colour, just punch it into here, D8, 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 and then white here and grey towards the end of the composition and make it radial. So there we go. Right, so now we are ready to apply the card dance effect to our motion design love logo layer here. So in effects and presets, search for card dance and just drag that straight onto the layer. Now first thing we're going to do is change the gradient one layer to our noise layer that we produced. And if we change the Z position to intensity one, and already you can see it's broken up. And if I increase the multiplier, you'll see that things start to happen, starts to get broken, broken up along that Z axis. 